Happy Memorial Day weekend. We've been out fishing here in my hometown of Paris, Missouri. I got the boys cooking fish over there that we caught off of jug today. And I'm gonna show you a good venison Swiss steak recipe that you can do over an open fire. Chunk up your venison here. Try to get them all about the same size. This is my granddaddy's meat mallet. Mama said if I didn't bring it home, I'd just soon not come home again. So I better be careful with her. Now that I've got my meat all flattened out and tenderized, I'm gonna roll it in a little bit of flour to dredge it. You don't have to get a whole lot of flour on there, you just wanna kinda coat it, shake off the excess. At some point, you gotta get your pot hot here. Get it on the flame. You gotta have it pretty hot because you want to sear the venison. You start off a little oil. And you don't need much, just enough to coat the bottom. You just want to make sure you get good color on your meat. And then you can, once you get the color on here, most sides. We'll pull it out, and then we'll start our vegetables. We'll sweat our vegetables in there, and then we'll add our tomato juice, tomato paste, let that sauce thicken up, and just let it sizzle and simmer. I don't want you to have to wash your hands, but the chef's got to eat, too. <laughs> Appreciate it, Brant. No problem. Blue cat turned out all right. Hope my venison is just as good. I bet you it will be. Once you pull your meat out of your pot, you see all these crumbs and little crackly pieces stuck in the bottom. That's what you call sook. That's all good eating right there. That's nothing but flavor in there. A lot of people think, well, it's stuck to the pan and ain't no good. I'm gonna show you what to do with that. Get you just a little bit more oil in there. Right there. You sweat your veg and when that moisture comes out of your vegetables, It'll pull all that crumbs and stuff that took stuck to the bottom. It'll pull it right off there, and that ain't nothing but flavor, baby. It's real good. It's a good time to put a little seasoning on here, salt. Hard to cook without any black pepper. I like it a lot, so I put a lot in it. Once you sweat your veg, you're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. What does tomato paste do? Other than flavor, it'll help thicken your sauce. You put it in here and you let it cook a little bit. Oh yeah. Once you get that tomato paste cooking a little bit, guess what you do next? Just pile your meat in there. Then you're gonna go in with your tomato juice. Real easy recipe. You don't see that on a fire every day. I guarantee you they love it. They're gonna have a lot of extra fish. When you get it to a good simmer like this, you wanna let her set in there for 10 or 15 minutes. It'll thicken the sauce up and make the meat even more tender. Let's see what she tastes like. Mm. Good stuff, man. Venison Swiss steak, folks. The only thing it's missing is a big old pile of mashed potatoes. I don't get no better than that. You want some of that? The easy recipe to do on the fire. Something you don't see every day. But until next time, I'm Chef Aaron Neal. This is Midwest Whitetail. Good luck and good hunting. Oh, yeah. That was excellent. Excellent. Let's dig the rest of it out of here. Get some more plates.